you know me, I just can't keep my hands off uh, terrible and cringy stuff. And let's look at something that literally broke a man. But I'll show you that at the end of this thing. And it's called Warhammer 40k Gatekeepers Addict again. I, I, I put the addict again. It just goes again. Which, meh, whatever. Let's begin. Let's see what this marvelous person has to say about gatekeeping. A very useful thing in any hobby. It's Dave for Gamers on Games, and we're back to talk about bullying in the Warhammer 40k. Oh no. Look, I, I, I've done this dance and pony thing a few times. Bullying isn't really going to be real bullying. It's just going to be somebody going like, no, gatekeeping is good. Or, no, this is uh, not that terrible or something like that. Let's see how, how this goes. Community, because apparently we can't just address this topic enough because it will not seemingly go away. First important thing to note, and I have to move my, uh, no, not this. Stay there. I have to move my uh, avatar from here. This guy. Huh, this is a way better spot. Yeah, I'm keeping the avatar here from now on. This guy has a table where he has his coffee on. And it's in the... Um, it's not in the gif flag. It's the weird one that has uh, was it, black and brown people on it. And there's like a special corner for trans people. Because... Rainbow wasn't good enough, but whatever. We're not going to get into that. Let, let's continue the video. And we have talked about it from a number of angles. And we've talked about a number of instances. We've talked about everything from misogyny to outright Nazism. Let me guess. The misogyny is people not wanting female space marines. And the outright Nazism is somebody being a troll and just having the media and everybody else throw a hissy fit because somebody decided to win a tournament with the name of the Austrian painter. Yeah, more than likely that's what it is. We've talked about it time and time again. We've even covered it when it has gotten so bad that GW themselves have had to step in. So, somebody ring that bell because I called it. Well, this time we're going to have a little bit of fun because we're going to get an amazing TikTok video coming from somebody on the receiving end of all this. And you know what? Let's just watch it and I'll see you guys on the back end of it. And you can enjoy because this is amazing. This, By the way, what we're having here is somebody react to a clip and I'm reacting to that. And it's, it's clipception. Yes, we're going to be a little bit Reddit today and use clipception as a, a word whatever that means so let's begin uh, i'm already yeah i'm feeling the cringe already start this person says to enjoy this hobby i won't let bad actors like him ruin it and this might be confusing but they're actually talking to me yeah i could tell <laughs> i could tell then goes on to tag me in a video where he says he supports bullying people to get out of the hobby, which is, let me be perfectly clear, Warhammer 40k. All of this in reply to a video where I said I was going to paint a character differently than the traditional box art. So I mean, it's a little bit strange, it's a little bit weird. The first comment isn't that uh, big or anything, but um, the other one with the bullying is a little bit strange. But then again, do you really waste your time with everyone that has bad things to say about you? Eh, it just feels weird. But then again, um, <laughs> comments aside, there is a mentality to these people. More than likely, this person uh, wants to paint uh, space marines and whatever flags that uh, represent certain uh, things. Okay, I'm just gonna be as vague and obscure as that. And let's be honest, nobody ever does it because they really want it. Some might do, in fact, excuse me on that, some might even think, that, you know what, I'm gonna paint this because I like this flag or something. But as we've seen a lot of times, most people that do it do it for reasons that are for clout, for money, for anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't take this 
to that extreme to make a video just about it. In fact, I didn't really, I didn't used to make videos, and I still don't make videos about people that say bad things about me in my comment section and stuff like that. Why would I? At the end of the day, it really means nothing. And let me put it from a professional wrestling standpoint, because I love professional wrestling. Don't be a mark. If somebody says something bad about you on X, just or Twitter or whatever, just move on. <laughs> Don't be a mark at the end of the day. But I guess that's hard to do for some people that want these things to happen so they can get more attention and bask in that glorious, glorious victim cloud. And hey, here we have a person, this guy with the blue thing on here in the corner. That's the original of creator of this video I'm watching, who's basking secondhand clout, because, oh, I'm gonna take all those points. <laughs> eh. Don't be a mark. You know, the stakes for this situation are <laughs> high and also extremely real. I w Doubtful. was born on the forums, I was raised on Twitter, and I transitioned during President Trump's reign of fucking terror. You- Guess what's gonna happen? Another video is gonna be limited with ads because, uh, yeah, yeah, swearing, whatever. Uh, Trump's reign of terror. Who cares? It's reign of terror. That's a way overblown exaggeration. Remember when gas used to be cheap? Ah, uh, you know what? I remember when gas used to be cheaper in Romania. <laughs> Funny how that happens when uh, bad uh, people, bad politicians, and leaders come in, and the price of gas goes up. But it's not only that. I'm not here to make a uh, defense for what Trump did as a president. It's not the point of the video. But this sounds like a person that really needs to. Touch grass. Get some vitamin... What, what was it that came from the sun? I know it's not. it doesn't come from the sun. It's, the sun stabilizes it. V vitamin D. Get some vitamin D out there. Get some vitamin C too. Touch grass. It's going to be helpful think you can do anything to me? You won't even make videos with your face in it and you think you've got something that will work against me? I mean, let's be honest. The truth of the matter is, don't put your face on the internet in the first place. That's like the dumbest thing ever. Especially, especially, and here's the funny part. People like this uh, TikTok person, want you to put your face on the internet and they want that because then they can hunt hound you they can hunt you and they can get you fired from your job because you disagree with them let's be honest that's what it all resumes to it's only because somebody called some somebody gets offended by this because they called they were called stupid by somebody with a vegeta avatar no uh, no no safety is way too important to risk it just to have random arguments with people on the internet and also there there are a few things that that person can do and uh, you know what no we're not getting into that let's continue with the video better than you have tried harder and failed worse than you could possibly imagine so i guess bring it on your parents don't really count into this oh sorry that was oh well it happens happens Bad actors are ruining my tiny Warman game! Warhammer 4000 is for everyone, and if your hobby is so threatened by me, Miss Pink... It's for anyone that wants to join in it. It's not for everyone. If it was for everyone, then even my parents would be buying GW products. But my parents aren't. Most people I know don't really get into it, unless they're hobbyists themselves. Warhammer was never for everyone. It was for anyone that wanted to join. Simple as. North FC meme, my favorite. After Gun the Knuckles. Painting my miniatures? Bad actors! I mean, you are pretty much a bad actor if you come and want to change the hobby. For example, like the Lord of the Space Marines, so you can get your female Space Marine kick. That's. That's not true. That, that, that is. No. Does not a lie, that is true. They are bad actors in the hobby, you see them every day. From the people that don't know who Horus Lupercal's name is, or that don't know that uh, Horus is uh, called Lupercal, or have no idea of 
any books, in fact, and try to lie by saying, oh, it, it was established, blah, 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 but I have no page number or a book or a line. I have nothing on it, but you have to believe me because <laughs> I did my research. Yeah, no, thank you. They are bad actors. Of course they are. Same as they were with Star Wars when they changed it, and same as the Warcraft tourists. But I'm going to stop with the Warcraft tourists because uh, I hate Warcraft. So that was utterly amazing. I enjoyed every possible second of that TikTok. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not surprised. That's like telling me horses eat hay. Mm. And I, I got to give so much credit because that is delivered with such enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going to come out and say it. That person isn't going to screw you. No, no, you're not going to score with that person. I'm sorry. Humor, sarcasm, belittling, and just, oh, so. Calm down there, boy. <laughs> Calm down. You don't have to come on the fucking, yeah, well, that's the point. You don't have to come on the fucking video. Slow down. Oh. So good on all fronts. I love it. And you know what the best not really best part is you know you know that they one hundred percent picked up on the four thousand rather than forty thousand or forty K and they ran with it, despite the fact that it blatantly says this is a joke. Uh, it's a bad joke at the end of the day. It's like, oh, I was just pretending to be stupid. It's not a good joke. It doesn't help you in the end. Same way that I was only pretending to be stupid doesn't work. Yeah. So we just got done doing a whole thing about uh, being called tourists and all that kind of crap. Yeah, yeah, and people are still tourists. If somebody called you a tourist, then they probably had a reason. I mean, it depends. Do you want female space marines? Do you want the lore to change? Do you think Belisarius' call is this MacGuffin uh, Deus Ex Machina that can bring your uh, father back? Unfortunately, the answer is no. To the last one. He won't ever come back. And here we are again. And the funny thing is, this comes in the wake of one of the more popular uh, accepting and open uh, people on Twitter painters on Twitter who has had to temporarily go into hiding because of the fact that they are receiving just an immense amount of hatred. Now, if this is talking about the same person I'm thinking, then the story is rather simple. This person painted miniatures in certain colors. Of course, people didn't like the cloud chasing and they've turned their whole Twitter thing into goodbye, and that's the it. That's it. Wolfhammer will try to paint this as somebody self-deleting themselves for uh, because of the hatred, but at the end of the day, it seems that that person might have just moved on to a different platform. And I don't know. Twitter isn't a human right. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If that is the same person, that's it, and it's not really that big and wow of a story. Then again, if somebody else would have done that that doesn't agree with you, you probably would have danced on uh, their goodbye post. Much in the same way, a certain ethnic group danced during a certain event. No, I'm not going to be specific. And it sucks. No one should be driven from the hobby, you know, who doesn't belong there, really. It's a case of this whole gatekeeping thing is completely out of control. Um, honestly, what you really need to do is you need to gatekeep against gatekeepers. This might also come from the fact that this person doesn't understand what gatekeeping is supposed to do. Gatekeeping isn't supposed to keep new fans from entering in, it's supposed to filter people that like 40k and like Warhammer in general, and people that want to get into it are, are Chilling money for to Games Workshop just for the simple fact to change everything at its core, to change something that Games Workshop has been adamant about for a bunch of years. A bunch of years at this point. 
But of course, this means that you have to understand who you're talking to and their talking points, which is not something these people can ever do. But then that becomes a whole cyclical thing, and that's just not going to work. It's Ouroborean. Yeah, it's very cyclical, cyclical, I guess. Not one week passes by without somebody crying about female space marines and how they should be a thing. It happens. I wish it didn't, but it continues happening, and it's a great thing, but, you know, it goes on. You will always have to deal with people like this. Because they are here to destroy what you care and what you love. And apparently Warhammer is their next target. Because they had enough of Star Wars. But, again, calling out this horrible, bad behavior every time it rears its head is going to be the only way to stamp it out. I don't think education can work at this point. I'm usually a fan of education beats hate. But I don't think... I wish that worked, but, uh, you know, here's the other side of the perspective from the different house, from a different house, from the other side of the fence. And yeah, education, I agree, it doesn't really work because you can tell people, no, the Imperium is fascist, it has no fascist tendencies, there's, it's pretty lax with everything it does. It's, you can say the Imperium is based on the Holy Roman Empire and you wouldn't be wrong. You could say the Imperium is based on Yugoslavia, and you would be technically a little bit wrong, but you wouldn't be so wrong as when you say the Imperium is based on fascism or Nazism. And no matter how much you try to teach that to people, they're not gonna get it. Mostly because they're here to change the language. The same way they refer to a cross style, the cross pate, to include, uh, you know, Everything bad and everything's a Nazi symbol, despite the fact that, you know, it's not. You see, education doesn't work with people like this because they're here to change the language and change everything. You can throw many books at them, but they won't learn. And what good does it to the fish if he has a pond of sand and not a little bit of water? And the water in this case is the will to love a hobby for what it is without trying to change it into something else. You, know, you can just tell them what I say to Warcraft players that wanted to change Warcraft to Final Fantasy XIV. Go play that. But they will never do that. They'll try to parasite from Warhammer as much as they can. I think that's even possible anymore. I think at this point they are so committed to the hatred they are so committed to being vile there is no other way forward it is a case of doing everything you can to make sure that they are screened out if they want to go and play in their own private basement away from the rest of us you know and be vile with their uh, nazi painted orcs and their ultra fascistic and uh, homophobic and transphobic space marines Go for it. Let them. Who cares? <laughs> but. Yeah, you see, this is, this is what I'm talking about. But, you know, you get it. At this point, they're here to change stuff, not to enjoy stuff. Tragic as that may be. You're just going to have to hold those gates better. Counter counteract their arguments and always prove they are in need of some killing garden lessons. Because it seems they jumped over a good part of their schooling to get to their current point in which they have a job, but they seem to be incapable of understanding what they're reading. But in truth, we all know the meaning of it. They refuse to understand. I know the thing about screaming gatekeepers out isn't going to work, because normal people understand it. Oh, it says here they can't be female space marines. There can't be female space marines. That makes sense. Oh, you know, biological reasons, whatever. No, you have to put him in. Normal people aren't going to side with people that want to change something they like into something else. Just go play something else. <laughs> the problem is, is that every time we go, well, I don't know, maybe we should let them play, da, 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 and they wind up becoming the public face and public representation of the hobby. It doesn't help anyone. It, in fact, hurts everyone. Believe it or not, it hurts them too. They just can't see it. So remember, when you see hate in the hobby, call it out 
every single time. Call oh, that's easy to call out. But you also have to understand that when you're calling it out, you're going to call it to normal people that will understand it. And you're also going to call it to the Wookiees that uh, will never understand it. And what I mean by this is not, uh, oh, there shouldn't be female space marines. No. What true hate really is, is selling people to end it because they don't agree with you. They call you a Nazi because they, you don't agree with them. And then they use the most famous line out there. Follow your leader. Which is technically an impulse to self-delete after you call him a Nazi. That is real hate out there. Just saying that oh, they want to protect the hobby from bad actors isn't. It's not hate. It's the truth, it's something that works, it's something that functions, and it's something that anybody that loves something should do it. They should try to defend it from those that would try to fundamentally change it. But that doesn't work, because when you do that, you get awful messages like what I've said earlier. So, which side really hates? I'm curious. Huh? Depends. Called out enthusiastically? Call it out loudly and make sure that others help to signal boost your call out. That's all I can say. Now, that being said, the whole thing about signal boosting is a little bit weak. That's like you never pulled punches with uh, somebody on Twitter that uh, was a bigger creator than you. Signal boost, no. Are you confident enough in your argument? Is your argument good enough? Then you can stand against with it against 10,000 people and tell them all they're wrong. I've done that with Warcraft. Trust me, I've done that with Warcraft. I've done that with wrestling. You can do it if your argument is good. The reason they need signal boosting is because they need to support each other whenever somebody disagrees. Think of it as what China used to do. China used to do something pretty interesting in, um, during its communist revolution, the Great Leap Forward, where they had these mass, mass punishment in front of everybody. And that's what they want to do. They want to gather the crowd to watch your punishment because you disagree with them. Signal boosting helps them because they want to spread it even further. It's like a vile dance, if you want to call it. It's a vile dance where the spectators are devils that are applauding for whatever's going on in the middle. And it's not something pretty that's going on in the middle. Bullfighting is a good example. The good the bullfighting has some good things because the meat ends up to butchers and to families. The meat goes somewhere after the bullfight. In this case, it doesn't. But yeah. Weak-minded cowards. He said... Do not brigade the offender. Brigading does not help. Blocking and muting and otherwise disengaging, that's the way to go. You know, I'm going to give it. I'm going to be charitable today because why not? Yeah, no, it is true. Don't try to bully people that disagree with you. Confront them argument by argument. Talk by talk and be as loud as possible. And then you can call them uh, petty names because um, you realize you're dealing with people that are trying to manipulate language. That's how it usually goes. For me, at least. But yeah, don't. Brigading doesn't really do much. But it would be funny if the Wokehammer side of things understood that. Oh, it would be funny if the woke side ever understood that. Hello, Hogwarts Legacy. But, you know. Let's say they don't. Though we know why. Oh, because as the circles and the avenues around that individual are closed off, they're going to realize the isolation they have put themselves into. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's just leave this thing. It's cringe as it is. And let's look in the comment section, because the comment section has something very nice. Of course, I agree with the whole sentiment of not brigading people or not saying anything. But let's look at uh, some comments. Pretty good ones. Some of them. And let's see what he responds to. 
Could you, could you reasonably explain why gatekeeping a grim dark hobby could be wrong? People, same people at least, base their reflection on their experience of the world. It worked? Nice. Try to industrialize it. It failed. Why? Maybe it should be left for what it is. A failure. Consider what happened to D&D, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Warcraft, and so many franchises that used to be excellent as long as they were run conservatively. If this adjective makes any sense about fantasy. It does. And turned to be dog water, or dog shit at this point because I'm, I've already lost the ads on it, as soon as they were written with liberal approach. How could you reasonably say that gatekeeping is by essence bad? We all disagree with extremists, and a liberal approach falls into that category. Good gatekeeping, which can be shortened to love the noob, purge the tourist and ideologist, is what makes Warhammer 40k an excellent hobby. We don't want to see lib-left ideology into it. We can already see all its flaws daily in our western countries. So please enjoy your American way of thinking with dog shit American cultural products, Marvel, and let us enjoy our European grim dark as it is. You know what? I like that comment. It's, it's, it's respectful, it doesn't insult anybody, and it's well thought out. I would have made it more I would have made it more insulting, but you know, I am a very bad person. Do not follow my lead and do not do what I do. But let's see how this person responds. And they respond with if you enjoyed this content, be sure to swing by our Patreon and donate a buck or two to help us buy coffee. Twice. This isn't the first response. Because he's gonna copy-paste this a few times. Painting what you buy is perfectly fine. Demanding that the hobby change to fit your beliefs is not fine. This is the crux of gatekeeping. True. You know what? I'm gonna give it a like. But this one isn't uh, going to show the Patreon. Oh, no, it does. So let's see. Where in the video or mine, on her video or mine, <clears throat> was there anything about lore change? Also, lore is in some sacred timeline. It is fiction, and it changes. Deal with it. That is not true. Lore progression isn't change. And that's an important aspect that they will never talk about. The same reason they will never say that the Imperial Creed is true, because it is, they will say it's justified. You see? Manipulation of language. Trying to turn things into other things to justify their positions it's very subtle sometimes sometimes very crass but at the end of the day you're gonna know does the phantom fundamental belief behind anyone that is a gatekeeper while you're using the term as boogeyman as a boogeyman of sorts lore is in some sacred timeline blah 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 this is why people call you a terse by the way i mean this in all sincerity that if you actually and unironically believe that you're just as toxic to the community as the people you're highlighting in the video and that is pretty much true. Lore is the cornerstone of what keeps 40k, 40k, and Warhammer, Warhammer. We have to understand that without lore, you know, let's be honest, Games Workshop wouldn't be as big as it is today. On one hand, you say it's not about lore, and on the other hand, you say it's okay to change lore. So yes, it is about lore, and we all know it. And the next response is, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to swing by our Patreon and donate a buck or two to help us buy coffee. No, I don't want you to get coffee. You know what? I, I really wish you wouldn't get any coffee. Again, remember this. <laughs> this kind of keeps repeating itself. Hold the gate like uh, your Sanguinius himself. The fact that he won't defend his own position against the challenger demonstrates how shallow and feckless the tourists are. The next answer is another copy-paste to buy him coffee. Look, I'm going to be honest. If I was this addicted to coffee, I would probably try and quit it. If I end up posting on every comment on my videos... I get them, uh, donate whatever so I can buy cigarettes, I think I should probably quit it. Much in the same way I think this guy should quit uh, with coffee. And let's see, does it repeat itself? Yep. So let's, let's read the comments. It goes, some gatekeeping is alright, even necessary. This is a long one. <laughs> but we're not going to go through it. What we're going to see is that this guy continues with this. Hmm. <clears throat> Gatekeeping isn't about not letting people into the hobby. Gatekeeping is about defending our beloved hobby, safe from people who want to change it because it doesn't fit their narrative. Danny Fortuna protects, and what do we get? Another demand to buy coffee. At this point, coffee seems to be a great addiction to him. Much in the same way San Francisco has an addiction problem. I ho just hope he doesn't have those same uh, symptoms as those people. 
Games Workshop was the only place I could go as a kid and not get bullied or excluded because of my sexuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get another same thing. But let's continue with this guy's uh, comment. I was always welcome in the hobby and not... Yeah, excuse me. I'm just gonna skip over it because it says what I'm thinking it says. Their sexuality was a thing, but nobody bullied them and they liked the hobby for what it is. I, I, there's no point in reading most of these unless... Um, you get the same uh, coffee message like we get here because at the end of the day you will find people that um, are of different races of different ethnicities of different sexes of different sexual preferences that won't agree with him mostly because hey the hobby is the hobby and we enjoy it for what it is it's our escapism from the world and we don't want it to change and that's the end of it. Let's see what else we have here. Are you going to debate Fortuna or just delete his comment? I don't know who Fortuna is, but we get the same uh, thing. You know what? Let's go Fortuna. And we have like five. Huh? Which one is this one? I don't know. It, it, the idea is that he might be avoiding debating someone and just posting the, his coffee addiction to everybody to see. <laughs> this is Danny for... what? For Kuna? One of the biggest 40k gatekeepers probably on this planet and I'll offer you the same offer I made everybody else. You don't agree with gatekeeping? Okay then. Time to debate our points in a live stream like I had proposed to Templin Institute with heresy posting. Oh, now I understand. During the uh, Templin Institute debacle where... He went like, oh, Lord, doesn't matter. It's not true. Whatever. Uh, there was this guy from a Facebook group that offered to debate the Templin Institute. He agreed, but then he ran away. And uh, he's apparently doing, the, doing it to this guy. And he's running away once more. It really shows you that they don't really have good arguments to debate things. At the end of the day, they're doing it for control. But you know what? I think it was funny. We saw a man melt down and go on a coffee addiction uh, spree where he's begging for money. And I think that's funny. Boogie levels of funny. Pre-Wings of Redemption. No, Wings of Redemption pre-boxing match funny. You know, low cow funny. That kind of thing. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next one.